All right, in this video, I'm going to be talking about polyatomic ionic compounds. Remember, polyatomic uh, uh, ions are going to be ones that contain um, two or more elements, so at least multiple atoms and two or more elements, and they'll be ionic, which means they will have a, a charge. Um, and a lot of this is very similar to the binary ionic compounds uh, video that we uh, that you might uh, see on on here as well. Okay, so here I'm given the name of the compound and I need to create the formula. Same uh, idea here where I always put the uh, positive one first. The positive one here is potassium and its charge is plus one. And hydroxide is one of my ions and hydroxide is OH minus. And that single minus basically means one minus or minus one. And you literally crisscross the charges as we've been doing. And you get uh, K1OH1. Uh, one, oh, one. And I put the OH in parentheses here to notice that that one applies to the whole OH. Okay? Now, because everything is a 1, I can rewrite that as just KOH, no need for parentheses here. With copper 2 carbonate, again, I'll start with my positive ion, that's going to be copper. And with those, with the Roman numeral, we have the Roman numeral being the actual charge, so that's going to be 2 plus for copper. Carbonate is one of our polyatomic ions. And carbonate is CO3. Make sure that both the C and the O, okay, both of the C and the O are capitalized there, okay? And the charge for carbonate is 2 minus. Crisscross those charges, and I end up getting Cu2, CO3, and 2 of that. Again, I put it, if I have multiple of any of the uh, polyatomic ions, I put them in the parentheses here. Now again, um, because these are the same, I can reduce those both to one, and overall I end up getting copper uh, carbonate here. And uh, because everything is one, I don't need any parentheses. Here's some more. Ammonium is going to be our positive one, and that is also a polyatomic ion, NH4+, plus, and that's again plus one. Nitrate is going to be NO3-, minus. okay? And again, the plus and the minus here uh, basically mean plus one and minus one. And if I crisscross those charges, oh, crisscross those charges, I end up getting one on both, and so we know that those don't count, so I get NH4, NO3 for ammonium nitrate. Aluminum hydroxide. Aluminum is going to be our positive here, and aluminum, and I always write my L's, that are second, I always write it as like a lowercase cursive so that it doesn't look like a capital I, okay? Aluminum has a plus three charge, hydroxide has that minus one charge. If I crisscross those, I end up getting ALOH3 here because the three went down to the OH and I therefore need, because I have multiple of my polyatomic ion, I need parentheses around that ion only. Okay, let's name some here. Uh, with naming similar rules to binary, I always put the name of the positive one first as its own word. So here, calcium is my positive, so I have calcium. I U M. And I have to identify my polyatomic ion here. And that is going to be carbonate. Let me check. Uh, yep, carbonate. So that'll just be calcium. 
carbonate for the name of that one. Here again, what's my positive? My positive is magnesium. Uh, my negative is a polyatomic ion here, and that's going to be hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide. And notice in both of these examples, uh, some of the things had numbers in different places. Here we have a number of polyatomic ions. The numbers don't go actually into the names. The only numbers that would go into a name is if it was like one of those transition metals that gets a Roman numeral. For example, here we have copper and nitrate, so this will ultimately be copper and nitrate, but I need to know that with copper, it can have multiple different oxidation numbers. So I need to determine, okay, is it copper one, copper two? How do I do that? I can basically go backwards and uncrisscross the charges and I know copper is positive, so in this case, the 2 goes with the copper 2 plus. My nitrate here has a minus, and if I look at my polyatomic ion chart, I notice that it is normal for nitrate to have a single minus. And I can look at my uh, chart for my special ions and notice that copper can come in a 2 plus, so that I know that I'm on the right track. So in terms of naming it, I'd then just name it copper two nitrate copper two nitrate that's the name of that polyatomic ion here again what's my positive my positive is magnesium and I can see that PO4 is going to be phosphate so this will be magnesium phosphate again totally not caring about any of these numbers at all.